drinks your beer and went and ate you, and I got released. Listen, Mark, if you have already cleared it up, you've already been in jail over it, and, and this is a mistake, when you get there, they'll clear everything up. I kind of felt bad for this guy because he claimed he had already taken care of this particular part for petty theft, but it's just a part of my job. He had a warrantless arrest, and it's my job to take him in and make sure he talks to the judge and deals with that offense. the most uninhabited and unforgiving terrain in the state. So when a woman goes missing in 45,000 acres of the area's most remote timberland and marshes, one FWC officer with backwoods in his blood is given the call. A lot of people call me Bean, and the reason they call me Bean is because it's my last name. It's Mr. Like Bean, that's the name. How y'all folks doing? I grew up in the Suwannee County. You know, we had a lot of things to do. So you went outside and you done things, and it was there for you. The cowboy hat, it is issued to us. You can either wear this or a baseball hat. So I chose the cowboy hat, and I wish you could wear it on the boat. I wish it had a chin strap, but it doesn't. We need to go somewhere else, okay? We received a call about a lady up in San Pedro Bay. She had just bought some property up there. It's real swampy. It's bad. She was going out there to hang out. Ended up getting stuck, getting lost two days ago, and she's been out there ever since. The woman managed to make a 911 call after her truck got stuck in the mud en route to her small parcel of land. But she had no idea of her exact location, and after two failed search attempts the day before by local rescue teams, the FWC was called in. Local sheriff's deputy, Joseph Knight, will also ride with Officer Bean on his backwards hunt. You gonna be my navigator? Uh, her property's right in here. In this situation, the most important thing is time. 